Welcome to Ground Control. As promised, I have an uh, assembly video for this little 8020 brush motor, gearbox, and prop. Now, as I as I stated in my initial review video, you're going to want to make sure that before you assemble it that you take your little plastic housing and you put it on whatever type of material you're going to use to make your mount plate and make sure that you trace that out before you assemble it. It's going to be very difficult to try and trace that thing out on whatever type of material you're going to use after you've assembled it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to install the motor into the housing and I can tell you that it is a very tight fit. Okay. Okay, well, not quite there yet. Okay, I would say that's good. You want to make sure that you've got enough room to put your um, gear onto your motor. Now that we have the motor inside the housing, the next step that I'm going to do is I am going to put the gear on the motor. And there is a top and a bottom to this gear. Um, if you look at it on on the bottom of the gear there's a little round edge that goes all the way around it and on the top it's just gears all the way to the top so you want to make sure you get that on in the right direction and also make sure that when you're putting it on you're pushing from the back of the motor because we don't want to we don't want to push the back of the motor out and you know use constant pressure when you're putting it on uh, make sure that you're you're pushing it on straight. You don't want to bend You don't want to bend your shaft on your motor. Okay, so nice even easy pressure Okay Yeah, I think that looks pretty good That's not gonna go anywhere Okay, and the next step is we want to put our little bushings in our little metal bushings these little copper colored or brass colored bushings are going to go in these little holes on the tapered side on the tapered side of the housing on the holes that are are to the you know closest to the edge of the housing and these things are tiny and they're very light so it's kind of difficult for me to manipulate it with my fingers. Oop. And grab another one. I'll have to find that one. Okay. And that is another snug fit inside this housing. Okay. Finally got that in. And that is, uh, everything is a pressed fit. So... What I would do is you don't want what you want don't want to do is you don't want to use a pair of pliers or anything when you're pushing these um, metal bushings into this plastic because your plastic keeper that's going to hold your shaft in is going to be riding against this. So what I would do is to, to you know to push it all the way in once you get it started is use a pencil use a pencil eraser to press against it. And that way you're not going to mar up the surface because you, you want to keep that as smooth as possible and, and keep the amount of friction to an absolute minimum on this motor prop and gearbox combination. Okay, let me pause it here. I'm going to see if I can locate the bushing that I dropped and then we'll get that one installed. Okay, luckily I found my bushing. And um, these feel almost, I mean, they were so light, they... I think they might be made out of aluminum, but just colored to look like to look like uh, brass. Okay, so we've got our motor installed. We've got our gear on our motor. We've got both of our bushings installed. So now your shaft, and you'll notice that on your shaft it has a smooth end, and then it has an end that has. Um, it, almost like a crimped end. It'll be it'll be rough when you touch it. Okay, the the rough end is the end that the gear and the prop are going to slide onto. So, what we want to do first is we want to get our 
um, gear, our main gear installed on our shaft. And as far as I can tell, the gear does not have a face or a back. It looks like it's completely symmetrical. So let's go ahead and, you know, be careful because it's not exactly, um, you know, it's made out of plastic. So you, you could bend it, warp it, or damage it putting it on. So what I would suggest that you do is get a pair of needle nose pliers and don't grab don't grab the end that's smooth we want to we want to leave that as smooth as possible but use needle nose pliers to grab this um, crimped crimped edge of the shaft and and use that to hold while you push your your gear on what we want to do is we just want to get it started okay so I'm just gonna hold this shaft with my pair of needle nose pliers and then pushing on the inside of that gear, I'm going to slowly push it on. Trying to put most of my pressure on the inside of that gear. Okay. So now let's get a piece of plywood here and put our shaft down against our plywood so we have something solid to push against. and even pressure okay so i think we've got our we've got our gear right where we want it right to the end of that um crimped rough edge of the shaft so now what we're going to do is go ahead and insert our shaft through our bushings okay and then make sure that you line up your gear both of your gears before you slide it on the rest of the way. Okay. Now just push it all the way back. You can see that your gear is fully engaged with the gear on the motor. And then this other little plastic piece is the keeper for the back of the shaft. So now we're going to slide that onto the shaft. Like I said, everything is a press fit. So it's going to be tight. And I'm going to uh, use this piece of plywood again to get this keeper started. The hardest part is getting it started onto the shaft. Okay, got it started. So once you get it started, it's going to be a little bit easier to push forward. Okay, so I've got the keeper pushed all the way forward, right? Our gears are fully engaged. But you'll notice there's a lot of friction so what we want to do is we want to pull out we want to pull the shaft out just about a half a millimeter just using even pressure okay I've loosened it up a little bit but we want a little bit more I think that I think to have the least amount of friction you want to pull this out just about a half a millimeter And there we go. So if you watch me grab this main gear and move it up and down, you see how the shaft moves a little bit? So we got about a half a millimeter of movement there and that's good because that's going to give you the least amount of friction. And if you watch, when I pull this, when I push this gear back and forth, you'll see that it's still totally engaged with the gear that's on the motor. We want to make sure that we are completely engaged with the gear on the motor. Okay, so that's having a half, about a half a millimeter of play in that shaft is what you're going to want. Okay, now we're going to be putting on our prop, and you'll need to put your prop on to begin with. I think the easiest way, the best way to balance this prop once you get it on the motor is to hold it in your hand and power it up and you're going to be able to feel the vibration and you want to be you want to make sure that you get everything balanced before you ever put it in your plane so what i do is i install the prop onto the shaft i run the motor up i balance my prop and then i'll pull the prop back off before i install it on the plane and then put the prop back on and then that way when i install it i know that everything is balanced and it has a very minimal, very minimal amount of vibration, if any. 
Okay, and you'll notice that there, there is a front and a back of the prop too. So if you look at the back of the prop, it's just like any prop for quadcopters, airplanes. You'll notice that one side of the prop is much shinier than the other side of the prop. Okay, well the shiny side is going to be the back of your prop. Okay, so now we have, we are completely assembled. We have our prop on. We have about a half a millimeter of play. Our gears are still fully engaged, and that is exactly what we want. So we're good to go. All we need to do now is put power to this motor and run it up, balance our prop, pull our prop back off. Um, you're gonna need, you're gonna have to make your mount for this um, motor gearbox and prop combination. So then you can you can make your mount. Uh, install the motor gearbox into your plane and then install your propeller once you get it all balanced up so there you go there's a short tutorial on how to assemble that I will also take some still photos of everything I know it's kind of hard to watch me install these small components so I'll take some pictures and I'll run them through here so thanks for watching please give a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe don't forget to take, take a look at our Patreon site because we have free content there as well. And I will see you in the air.